After adding a Northwoods League baseball team last summer, Minot becomes the third city announced to be part of the inaugural season of Northwoods League softball, becoming a part of a nationwide growth of women's athletics. Cake Sports' Tristan Thomas has more. Northwoods League softball is the first for-profit women's collegiate softball league in the U.S. Set to play its inaugural season in cities like Minot, Mankato, Minnesota, La Crosse, Wisconsin, and others soon to be announced. While 48 summer collegiate baseball leagues across the nation spreads that talent pool to upwards of 500 teams, Northwoods League softball expects to attract some of the nation's top talent in 2024. Unless you are tuning in on, you know, an ESPN Plus or something like that, tuning into an o Oklahoma softball game, uh, you're probably really not seeing that anywhere, even in North Dakota um, or the surrounding areas. So that's a really exciting part to be able to bring that here. This league's inception adds some local flavor to the national trend of an increased spotlight on women's sports. The interest, the attendance, the viewership is there uh, for women's sports. It's truly remarkable, the growth the interest and visibility across women's sports. And you hear Monica talk about how she was a collegiate athlete herself. And I personally, I think that's that's part of what's really cool about having a softball team in Minot is under the leadership of Monica. The yet to be named Minot Northwoods League team will play 20 home games this summer at Corbett Field with modifications allowing softball to be played on the baseball diamond opposed to other facilities like the Shields Complex at South Hill. We really want to recreate a Northwoods League experience for these players, but also for fans. Um, and things like that. So when you're talking about that, you know, you need 1,200 seats to be able to do that. And you need uh, the different group areas that we have and the ability to do the all-inclusive food areas that we have and um, the different entertainment things that we do throughout the game as well. Reporting in Minot for KX Sports, I'm Tristan Thomas. Now, just like the Hot Tots naming process, the community can send in submissions to select the team's name from now until November 14th. The finalists will be announced November 20th.